One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome to your tutorial on fractions, decimals, and percentages. Today we are going to look at the way in which fractions, decimals, and percentages are bound together. See what I did there, Lord of the Rings? You're welcome. Okay, let's begin. Fractions, decimals, and percentages are different ways of representing exactly the same thing. Okay, we'll do this visually first, and then we'll go into a few examples of how to convert. So, first, let me demonstrate my statement. Fractions, decimals, and percentages. Different ways of representing exactly the same thing. So I have this circle of my face here. It's really attractive. You're welcome. So, I'm going to colour in... This one here, I imagine I've coloured it in all, and I'm going to colour in this one here. Right, so far of my circle, I have 50% of it covered, okay, or a half, or 0 0.5. You guys recognise those all? That is all, way 1, decimal, way 2, fraction, and way 3, percent, are just three different ways of representing exactly what I've drawn just there on my circle. I'll show you another example. Let's instead colour in this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, now I have three quarters of my circle covered. Okay, another way to see that is I have 75% of my circle covered. What's that? I have 0.75% of my circle coloured in. Fraction. Percentage. Decimal, un, deux, trois, or one, two, three, are just three different ways of representing this guy. Okay? I'll do another example for everyone playing at home. Okay? Say I only colour in this one here. Okay? I'm working with small numbers at the moment just to get you used to it. I have a quarter of my circle coloured in. Or... 0.25 or 25 percent percentage fraction decimal three different ways of representing the same amount of my face colored in okay we are going to learn about in terms of fraction decimals and percentages how to convert between them so we know they're all related we know they're just two or three in this case, ways of representing exactly the same thing. Now we're going to learn how to convert between them because, I mean, 50% and a half is pretty easy, but they get a little bit more tricky. So let's have a look. The first thing we're going to look at is converting from a fraction to a decimal. Now this is probably the hardest one. How we do this is that we divide the numerator by the denominator. You are going to have to go back to year 7 maths and remember how to do long division. So I have a half, okay? And I know it's 0 0.5. This is why. 2 divided by 1. Now, I've attached the decimal point after the number inside my division. I need to attach as many zeros as necessary to complete the division. This will be a bit of trial and error for you. So, 2 into 1 can't do. So I pop the zero here and the decimal point there. Right, so now I need to carry my 1. So it becomes 2 into 10. 2 goes into 10 5 times. 2 into 0, 0. Okay, 50%. Now, you should know that because it's a half. You know a half is 0.5. Let's have one more quick example. Okay, let's look at five. Ooh, new color, sixths. Okay, so I put my numerator here. Okay, I'll do two zeros for the time being. And my denominator on the outside. So, 6 goes into 5, can't do, put a 0, keep the decimal places, one on top of the other, S carry the 5, 6 goes into 50, 8 times, with a remainder of 2, 
6 goes into 20 three times and I have a remainder of 3 okay so 6 1's a 6, 6 2's a 12, 6 3's 18 sorry I have a remainder of 2 okay I need another 0, 6 goes into 20 three times oh look I'm sensing a pattern going to keep on doing the same thing okay if I keep this going I'll keep on going forever and ever and ever and ever okay right so I'm going to cut it off here I write my answer is 0 0.83 and I put a dot above my 3 to show that it's reoccurring simple as that guys that one's a little bit more difficult this is the hardest one if you need a hand converting this please let me know so decimals to fractions this is where we need to use place value okay so if I have again I'm going to use the same example 0 0.5 okay you need to count the number of decimal places after the decimal starting from the point okay I have one decimal place okay one decimal place that's all I have if I have one decimal place I put it over 10 if I have two decimal places I put it over a hundred. If I have three decimal places, I put it over a thousand. Okay, so five over ten, and then I simplify. Okay, remember that thing always, 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 always simplify. What is a common factor that goes into five and ten? Nay, what's the highest common? Five and ten. Five and ten. Highest common factor is five. Five goes into five once, goes into ten twice. There we go. Simple as that. Okay, let's rub this out and have, oh gosh, not, not, not this again. This is going to take forever. Uh, so, having a good day? Excellent. Okay, let's get this rubbed out. Oh gosh. And we're getting there slowly but surely. Super great fun times. Oh, rubbed out some of the stuff I needed. Never mind. Okay, say for example, on the other hand, I had... 0 0.85 okay now I have two decimal places so I put it over a denominator of 100 so my answer becomes 85 over 100 say for example I had 0 0.125 that's three decimal places which needs I need to put it over a thousand so my answer becomes 125 over a thousand now what we need to remember with this answer here and this answer here, they must come in their most simple form, okay? You must simplify. So this one becomes 1 over, now, 125, 250, 5, 10, 1 tenth, okay? I've used a highest common factor of 125. 125 goes into 125 once and into 1,000 10 times. This one here, guys, you again need to use a highest common factor with it. Uh, highest common factor with this one is 5. 5 goes into 85. 7. Ooh, whoops, I moved that. 17 times, and it goes into 125 times. So that's my most simple version of that. That's decimal to fractions, okay? Place value is key. You need to determine place value in order to determine what you put it over. Okay, these are really easy. Decimal to percentage and percentage to decimal are really, really straightforward, guys. Decimal to percentage, 0 0.5, same example, okay? Just move the decimal point two places to the right. One, two, so you're multiplying it by 100 and adding the percentage sign and it becomes 50%. Okay, I'll show you how to do that again. Oh gosh, not this rubbing out business. Okay, when I multiply by 100, I move my decimal two places to the right. Okay, that's all I'm doing there. I'm multiplying it by 100. If you don't believe me, check on your calculator. It'll work every time. There's two zeros, therefore I move it two places to the right. So 25% was from 0 0.25. This is how we do it. We move 1, 2 two places to the right or I multiply by a hundred okay it's only two places if it's a hundred so that becomes 25 and I like I say here add the percentage sign 25 percent 0 0.33 percent as a desk that's as a decimal how do I get it as a percentage one two 
two places to the right, 33%. Okay, very straightforward, guys. What does that look like in reverse? Okay, in reverse, that looks like moving it the other way. So if I have 50%, okay, what's that as a decimal? Okay, I take that percentage, I go 1, 2, back the other way, becomes 0 0.5. Zero. Doesn't matter if you put a zero at the end, it's not too bad. 33%. Okay, how do I get that as a fraction? I move one, two decimal places to that way. Becomes, ooh, sorry. It becomes 0 0.33. Really straightforward, guys. Okay, percentage to fraction. You thought the one before was easy, this one's even easier. 50%. How do I change 50% to a fraction? Put it over 100 and reduce it. 50 over 100. Okay. Highest common factor with 50 and 100 is 50. 50 goes into 50 once and into 100 twice. That's it. Okay. It's really quite straightforward. Last but not least, we will do fractions to percentages. Okay. So say I have a half. So that is a percentage. In my mind, I kind of know it's 50%, but how do I actually get there? To do this, you simply multiply by 100. Now, doing that, multiply by 100, eh, doesn't really get me too far. What's another way of writing 100? Okay, another way of writing 100 is as a fraction. If you want a whole number, put it over 1. That's 100 divided by 1, 100, okay? We did this the other day. We totally get how to do this. We are A-OK. -okay. So, 100 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 100 is 100. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. How do I simplify that? 50%. 100 divided by 2 is 50, and it becomes, I just add a percentage sign on the end, it becomes 50%. So I've multiplied it by 100 here, I've simplified it here, and I've attached the percentage sign. That's it guys, it is as simple as that.